You know, I have been wondering why car companies thought it was a good idea to take bench seats out of the car and replace them with the console. Like, how am I supposed to get fresh at the drive-in if I got this thing in between me and oh boy? I don't give a damn about that console and its storage capabilities. and welcome back to my channel y'all just gonna have to excuse the glare because i'm not taking off my glasses um but <laughs> i'm back again with another video for you all before i get into it i want to say thank you thank you thank you i finally maybe not finally but i have uh reached 100 subscribers it's my first 100 i'm uber honored i'm so happy um all of you have decided to join me <laughs> in my shenanigans here on this channel i'm so grateful listen i was grateful for the two okay so i sure am grateful for the hundred and counting thank you so much um if you are not subscribed you still have time it's totally free of charge go for it there are at least 100 people who thought it was a good idea. So you're not alone. Go ahead, hit the button, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz, and keep rocking with your girl. All right, so today I have a video that was actually requested. My homegirl, Shania, hey boo was um like hey girl hit us with a uh video on how you do your ombre lip and i was like you want to see how i do my ombre lip no problem so i'm gonna show you <laughs> if you want to learn how well i'm not gonna say how to this is how i do my ombre lip stay tuned keep watching and Go. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into it. First, we're gonna start off with uh, the purple ombre lip that I did. That was in my last video. I am using Weed At, which is the purple color, and Marie, both by the crayon case. I am starting out with lining my lips. That's just a regular, regular Wet n Wild pencil, I believe. You don't have to line your lips, but I've just been doing it for so long and it just makes me feel comfortable so you could very well just line your lips with the lipstick um, as you can see i'm just going right in and putting that purple over the brown the brown's not really going to show through so like i said you can just put it the purple on as your lip liner now i'm just going in with marie and filling in the center um, I'm gonna dab, 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 dab. If you don't wanna dab with your finger, you can very well dab with a brush. If you are someone who does makeup on other people, I would suggest you dab with the brush and not your finger. I don't think you should drag your finger across somebody's lips. <laughs> but that's just me, you know? Some people think I'm not gonna go there. Um, but yeah, so here we are with the finished product as you can see i'm still dabbing because i just wanted to blend a little bit more but there she is okay girl all right next we're going in with the red ombre lip i'm using murder matte by the crayon case and i'm taking that marie and going back in my lips are lined of course and i'm just using the red to go over that brown round and round i did a little bit of cleaning up this time like i said just taking that marie putting it in the center we're gonna dab 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 now i'm gonna be honest uh this this part is a little bit long and i just seem to be going through the motions because i actually 
hated it. I looked in the mirror and <laughs> looked in the camera and hated it. So I went in with a little bit of Wet and Wilds, Bear It All. And then I went back in with that murder mat over it and continued to dab and blend. Still hated it. I don't, I think it was just too much probably in the center. I left it in to show you guys that sometimes this shit don't always work <laughs> and it don't always go the way you want it to. <laughs> So I just took my favorite gloss, went over it, and I think it was giving me a little bit more of what I needed. Um, so once I just blended a little bit more, I was satisfied. Yeah, 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 you can see I'm feeling a lot better about this one. All right, so that is the red ombre lip. If you don't want to use a nude, you're more than welcome to use a pink or maybe a lighter red. Or hell, orange. Orange works too. I think an orange red lip is phenomenal. All right, styling and profiling. Look at me. And we're on to the next one. This one is a brown and pink ombre lip. The brown is uh, suede by NYX and it's in the color cold brew. The pink is in Mauve, I think Mauve Over by Wet n Wild. It looks so bad, honey, I just didn't even wanna show you. Um, but hopefully you grasp the point. <laughs> uh, of course I lined my lips. I took the brown um, NYX in Cold Brew and just went around the edges and then put that Mauve Over in the center now if you don't have a brown lipstick you are more than welcome to just use the brown pencil and go over your lips it does the same thing you could just make it a little bit wider make the line a little bit wider all right and there we are there is the finished look right there pretty subtle take a brown uh lip gloss and go over that and you got yourself a thing all right for the last one this one's the one i do all the time it's also by nyx that was cherry bomb and bear it all and again they just look so bad i didn't think i needed to show you <laughs> So we, I'm just going to give it to you straight, you know, talk you through it. All right. So that cherry bomb is on the outside previously like the others. And then bear it all is in the center. I'm dabbing. I just went over it again with the bear it all just to make it a little brighter in the center. Um, that right there is just a little trick that I use to get, make sure I don't get lipstick on my teeth because honey lipstick be on my teeth. Um, you can leave it like that, um, but I like to kick it up a notch and put my favorite gloss over this combination. See, my gloss wasn't cooperating. I had to shake it a little bit. Um, but once it got to cooperating, honey, it got to cooperating. But it gives you this beautiful mauve color. I just love it so much. I know it kind of takes the ombre out of it, but whatever. I think it's super adorable. All right, and I am styling and profiling, <laughs> profiling, profiling. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that was so helpful. I hope you are able to um, pull it off for your Valentine's date drive, because um, I know it's the Rona, so maybe you and your boo want to drive around or for a nice socially distanced Galentine's. I hope you um, have learned some tricks and I hope you try them. If you do, let me know. Either let me know in the comments or you can follow me on Instagram and tag me over there. That's also down below. And it's also free of charge. Okay? Um, so once again, thank you so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.